Hello everybody, Chris here, and today I have a pretty cool tutorial for you inside of Paint.net, and that's to add drop shadow to your text. Now, if you've used Photoshop or you typically use Photoshop, then you're probably spoiled by how good Photoshop's ability to do that kind of thing is, but you can actually do that in other programs like Paint.net as well. Paint.net, of course, being a free program, and I've kind of warmed up to it a lot. So if you go to the Effects menu inside of Paint.net, You'll have some options here. You might not have all the same ones I do, but you should have the photo submenu. And from there, you can go to glow, and that's the effect we need to use for actually adding in a drop shadow. Basically, it's already done right here because I had the settings set to this where the brightness is really low to give it kind of a dark feeling, and the contrast is really high, so it basically strips all of the color out of it. Now, this will only apply properly if you have your text on one layer like this. Um, you want to separate your text and your other elements like the background image or else everything will be getting the uh, glow effect. So if you only want it to apply to some text, make sure that text is on its own layer. And uh, from here you can of course mess around with the settings. This is kind of to re uh, reverse where um, what I was going for here. Maybe you don't want it to be quite as blurry, you could put the radius down. But if you do use the glow effect with like a higher brightness setting, it, it's not going to look like a drop shadow effect. So that's why you have to have it all the way down to negative 100. And the contrast should be roughly 100 as well, because if the contrast isn't uh, really high, then what will happen is the glow effect will actually just take the color of the inside text and make that what the glow's color is as well. So if we put that to 100, it goes from the red straight to black. Then we hit OK, and we have a pretty dang nice drop shadow effect. So uh, I've been Chris. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this cool as well. Clearly, I do. I mean, with my text on the screen. Haha. <laughs> um, but if you want to check out the Patreon, it's uh, patreon.com slash chris tutorials. And I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.